Welcome to the second part of the Horizon Shopify theme tutorial. In this brand new Shopify theme, there is a capability of using AI to create any custom section with a prompt. So in this video, we'll see how we can do that. So in the last part of the video that is available in my channel, so you can check this out. We have built until this section of image with text, video with text. Now we'll see the power of AI in this Shopify theme. So for example, in the announcement bar we added a plain announcement bar but we cannot able to add a marquee or a scrolling text with a gradient background like the example website have so now let's see how we can add this with the power of ai so if i click add section you can see there is not many section we can access with it and also uh, as you can see there is not available uh, custom section is also not available okay but we can do that so but for uh, first of all let's see the power of ai into this shopify theme so for example if we want to create a comparison table or if we want to create something like this which is not available into this particular theme because these are custom made the custom made sections with code but if you want to create something like this as well with the a gradient color we can do this with the power of ai so let's see how we can add that so now let's uh, see the magic of ai into this uh, new shopify theme so i'll click on add section and i'll take custom section then after taking the custom section we'll go to the add block and we'll click this generate button so here is the option that we can use to create a custom section with a prompt we will give this into the ai and it will create a similar section like this so this is a i think uh, what it is it is an image or a video so let's click it is a video okay so now i will uh, go with it like chat gpt and i will take a call create a section with a two column in the left column in the left column column in the left column there will be an option an option to add image or video video each column will have 50 percent width in in desktop and 100 percent width in mobile in the right column there will be a headline right so if we see the design let's check there will be a headline and after that after that after that there will be uh, a a percentage a percentage section with 93 percent percent and under uh, and near that a paragraph a paragraph um, we can add we can have uh, three percentage section like this with flex option okay and each percentage have border top which color we can control in customizer and after three percentage with text section uh, we will have a a paragraph area okay mm, okay uh, we can control and customize our percentage will take will take 10 percent width and rest for paragraph okay now if i click enter now this will be generated and we can see the magic of ai and it is saying as we can still customize our section and going on design our store while they are doing this editing for us so if i click the footer you can see in the footer we can customize the footer like old shopify theme so if i click add block we can add menu here in the footer 
okay we can customize those menu from our menus we will see how to do that so now let's wait uh, until this generating block is completing okay okay so we can see the magic of ai is here but it is still not 100% accurate as you can see not will be smooth like the example side but you can guess it it is providing us a very near copy of it so you can add a media type of video or image url here okay and here in the right side as you can see the percentage value three item paragraph everything has been given but it is not perfect we need to know few codes still to make this happen like for example uh, the percentage sections uh, is not in the middle like if you see the alignment is not perfect like this one have right there is a not a border circle inside the percentage right so this is needed to be added or we can give further prompt here so we can customize it like uh, follow up uh, as you can see there is no follow up option i think but uh, if we can give a follow up option this could be have been better but column gap content spacing bottom margin everything has been given but we need to make it more more if we want to make it something similar we need to know some bit of coding or we need to give with follow up follow up uh, prompt so we can make it something similar like this okay for example uh, we have mark you okay we have mark you here but in this mark you we cannot add uh, we cannot add gradient color right we can do it with bit of css but if we want to make it like our own add a mark you add a okay so we we'll, what we will do we will go with custom section we will go add block and we will click on generate add a mark you section uh, like this theme have but add gradient color option in it all other options will be same like our theme have only we need we need to have input field for gradient colors okay so so this is the way we will give a prompt and now it will generate this gradient color section for us the mark you section for us with gradient color so as you can see the mark you has been created but only one option has been given okay and if we click the mark you uh, if we scroll down there is the option enable gradient color we can add gradient color here like this but here is a here is a uh, problem here we can only put one text i need to have i need to have three colors three text text option in the mark you okay so this is what we need so i'll give a follow-up prompt now the code will be updated and we will have three input fields to add the mark you now we got the three option for the text and if we want to make it full width we go to the custom section and make it full now it will take the full width of our uh, section so it is looking more authentic right and <coughs> let's make this one perfect so we need to as you can see there is no follow-up prompt option so i'll go uh, i'll uh, i will what i will do i'll click this and okay now so this one so i will see uh, okay okay so what we need to do we need to click on this option and then i will click on ai generated again and paste it but uh, what i will say and uh, need a paragraph flex option any person have broader term flex option where percentage percentage will be inside a box like the percentage got loaded percentage text will be inside loaded and text will be center align 
based on percentage text using flex okay uh, we'll have a paragraph and we can add a border uh, top to paragraph as well with the option to have it checked or not like a check mark to have borders enable or disable for all border we are using in this section also we can control font size for each text separately for desktop and mobile okay so if we click now enter then this is a more in-depth prompt of the same section now let's see what it will give us so now we can see that the uh, show borders so now we can disable this and the, for the percentages uh, you can see this is the percentage but it, still it is not perfect but better than before right like the alignment and everything is better than before and for the uh, headline color percentage text color we can change those here the percentage background color it is actually not that good so what i meant was not that i wanted something like this okay something like this uh, like this borders circle borders okay but it is not understanding that the prompt was maybe not that good uh, as you can see this is the typography mobile typography every option is there border text color we can enable or disable this from border option right as you can see this is now looking perfect so this is the magic of ai power of ai that is available into shopify itself and everything is actually mobile responsive okay but here is a issue i think it is causing now this is not an issue uh, but uh, this is crossing the limit i think right so if i click page state gap and these are the gaps of talking about these gaps content spacing column gap okay so you have to know a bit of code still to make this happen or to solve those code issue but uh, there is a lot of possibilities we can use those ai generation section and make a branded store uh, without any hassle which is not that much possible a few months ago as well but now it is inside shopify itself which makes life easier in the past we may need to go uh, to chat gpt and generate this but right now it is itself available in the shopify so try to explore this and create section like this from any given example it is actually depend on how good your prompt is so you have to know the basic building blocks of coding to give a proper prompt and to generate result like this like if you just tell let's give me a comparison table the comparison table won't be as good as like this right you need to know how the comparison table code has been structured so you can give a proper prompt into shopify then it will generate a better result for us so it's all about knowing the fundamental it's all about doing the exploration uh, ex exploring and then it will get better over the time for you so keep uh, practicing and keep sharing your feedback into the comment as well